This video shows you how you can play your own music on the Fire TV stick using a USB stick or USB hard drive. So this is your own music that's stored on a USB stick or a USB hard drive on your Fire Stick, not streamed from the internet. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, you need to have a couple of things. First of all, you need to have an OTG cable or a USB socket on your Fire TV device. Now, most Fire Sticks or all Fire Sticks at the current time do not have a built-in USB socket you have to buy an OTG cable. Have a look in the description of this video. If you haven't got one, you can buy one direct from Amazon. There's one down there that I recommend in the description. Secondly, it's not essential, but you should really have a device with Fire OS 7 or above. Now, it is possible with Fire OS 6, but you do need to do some a lot of extra work to get the USB device recognized. But this guide is going to be following users of Fire OS 7 to basically just try and keep it simple. So if you want to check to see what version of Fire OS you've got, then go across to the settings cog down there, go down to My Fire TV, middle button on the remote control, and then make sure that About is highlighted, middle button again, and you should see there under Software version, it should say Fire OS 7 point something point something point something. Now if it's six or five, then unfortunately, like I say, without doing a little bit of ADB shelling and a few commands, you won't be able to get this to work. Thirdly, unless you've got a third generation Fire TV Cube, your device that you're plugging in, i.e. the hard drive or the stick, must be formatted to FAT32. Unfortunately, Fire Sticks and Fire TV Cubes up to and including the second gen will not read any other format. So if your hard drive or your sticks form formatted to NTFS, then it simply won't work. Although if you've got a third gen Fire TV Cube, that is the only Fire TV device that I know of at the current time that will read an NTFS file system. So like I say, most sticks will come formatted to FAT32, but go on your PC, have a look to see if it is formatted to FAT32, if you do have problems getting the stick recognized. So you've got your OTG cable, you've got your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube, you've got your external device such as a external hard drive or a USB stick and it's formatted to FAT32 if you've got a uh, Fire TV device which is equal to or less than a second gen Fire TV cube. Like I say, third gen Fire TV cubes will accept NTFS file systems and uh, all you've got to do is, uh, is plug it in. So the next thing we need to do is we need to download an app that's going to play all this. So what we need to do is we need to go across to the magnifying glass there, go down to search, middle button and then type VLC. That's V for Victor, L for Lima, C for Charlie. And it should come up VLC Media Player. Once you see that, highlight it, middle button on the remote control, and then you're looking for this orange and white traffic cone with a white background under apps and games. As you can see, mine is there. Middle button on the remote, and then middle button again to start installing. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection. So just be patient with it. Let it download. Once it's downloaded, it will then start to install. And once it's installed, you will actually see downloading or installing go to open or done. And there you go, mine's now gone to open. Now that means that it's ready. So we just need to open that. So middle button on the remote control. So we've got the welcome message here. So just keep pressing the right part of the ring on the remote control until we get here. Now this is very, very important. We must allow VLC to access photos, media and files on your device. If you don't, then this simply won't work. So if you've accidentally selected deny, then you're going to have to go back uninstall it and then reinstall it again. So make sure that allows highlighted, middle button, and then press the right button again, 
and then once you get to this screen here, middle button. Okay, so if you see this message coming up saying new external storage detected, do you want VLC to add USB drive to your media library, then it's okay to say yes to that and that will basically add all the music that's on the USB device to your music library. Now, if you don't see that message coming up, go down and just keep going down and then you'll see settings there. Go into settings and then there we've got media library folders. Make sure that you've got that highlighted middle button and there you go. You should see something with a load of letters and numbers there. So you've got internal memory and mine says FEB2-062 D. So uh, I'm just going to highlight that and then I'm going to hold the middle button down on the remote control until a tick appears in that. And there it's now going through and it's now scanning all the music and all the folders on there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick internal memory because I've got nothing installed on the internal memory. There's not a great deal of internal memory on a Fire Stick. There's a double on the Fire TV Cube, but not a lot still. So I'm going to untick internal memory. So I've highlighted that and uh, what I've, I've, sorry, I've gone too far there. I'm going to highlight internal memory and press and hold the middle button until the tick disappears. And as you can see, there you go, it's discovering stuff on the stick. That could take a while. It really does depend on how much you've got on there. So it's just going through and, uh, and just putting it all together. So just leave this bit until it's done. As you can see now, it says passing media and it gives you a percentage there. So uh, again, that bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your fire stick and your USB device. So just be patient with it. It could take a little while. It obviously also depends on how much music you've got as well. The more music you've got, the longer that is going to take before it finds it. So uh, I'm going to leave that going. I'm just going to pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearly done. Right, so there we go. The bar's gone from the bottom. It's finished. So I'm just going to press the back button on the remote, back button again. It, if we go down to audio there, and then we can go into artists, albums, genres, tracks. So let's go into albums there. And there we go. That gives us all the albums that we've got. And obviously, I'm going to play one, but I can't actually let you hear it because I don't have the uh, the copyright. So there you go. There's all the tracks on that particular album. So I can play the tracks one by one, or I can go up to the play button up the top there and uh, and start playing. And there you go. It's now playing, although you can't hear anything because I haven't got, like I say, I haven't got the license to be able to, to show you it. But that will go through each of those tracks there. You've got a pause button there. You've got a uh, like a randomized button there. Previous track, next track there, a, uh, a repeat there. If we just go back, we've obviously got other options there. So if we press on that, there you go. We've added these to a playlist and... Uh, you've appended you can append tracks to the playlist you can go up to there and you can create your own playlist there if you want to so uh, yeah there's there's loads of great things you can you can do on this just have a play with it have a look see uh, see see what you can find on there up the top there you go displaying list sort by and uh, you've got that there which uh, I guess that allows you to, to search how yeah, you can search. But uh, if it can't find your USB device, then there's a couple of things you can try. OK, now you can go into the left hand menu there and you can go down to browsing there and go across to USB drive. Now, if you haven't got a USB drive there, it's probably because either your OTG cable isn't working, your Fire TV device isn't compatible with USB devices. It could be that you've got, like say, a Fire OS 5 or Fire OS 6 operating system, which without putting in quite a few commands, you won't be able to do this. Like I say, you do need Fire OS 7. It could be that your drive is not formatted to FAT32, so have a look on my YouTube channel. I've got quite a few videos on there which tell you how to format a device to FAT32. But like I say, if you've got a USB drive there, you can go into that there 
And there you go, that just shows all of the albums that I've got on all the folders on my USB drive. Not only music, but any, anything else. And again, you can go into it that way and uh, you can start playing the, uh, the, uh, the, the songs from there. So there you go, a great way of playing your own music on your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube directly from a USB device. I hope this guide helps, and if it did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on twitter at cwtech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk liking sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel thank you very much